Emmanuel Mosley began last season as a relative unknown backup. He ended last season as a starting cornerback on a Super Bowl team, and he enters the 2020 season as the favorite to keep that starting spot opposite Richard Sherman. Here are the strengths and weaknesses of Mosley's game at this stage of his young career. First thing you notice about Emmanuel Mosley is the way he hits. Here he is at the bottom of the screen. I mean, his tackling and his hitting is the biggest difference between him and Akello Witherspoon, who was a starter to start the season. Mosley kept taking his job, continuously endeared himself to the coaching staff and his teammates making plays like this. Witherspoon doesn't make this play. Knocks the guy all the way back. Watch it in full speed. That's Emmanuel Mosley. Here he is against the Saints. Didn't even start this game. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Comes off the bench. Here he is in the slot. Drew Brees never sees him coming. Almost causes a, a turnover. I mean, Drew Brees had never heard of Emmanuel Mosley before this moment. But I bet he remembers him after this. Final tackle. This one was in the playoffs. Third and nine. It was clutch. Going after him with the tight end. Got to make this tackle. Can't give up the first down. Third and nine. Here's Mosley at the top. Shallow cross. Hits this big 250-pound man. Knocks him backward. Look at how pumped up the sideline is. That's what I want to show you. Again, I mentioned how Mosley endears himself to his teammates and his coaches. This is the kind of effort that you don't always see a Keller Witherspoon make. Here's Witherspoon here. And the reaction that Witherspoon doesn't get from his coach, from his players. Look at him, man. Look, look at Robert Sala. Wants to kiss him. Mosley can do a really good job reading the quarterback. Here he is in one of his first starts early in the season against the Panthers. He's at the top of the screen. And he's going against a glorified third-string quarterback who's staring down his receiver all the way. Mosley's in zone coverage, eyeballing the quarterback, and he breaks on the pass before the receiver does. Great job jumping the route, being aggressive, reading the a bad quarterback's eyes from zone coverage. That was one of two Mosley interceptions last season. Here was the second pick. Similar situation, but this time in the playoffs against the Packers. Mosley at the bottom of your screen. Going to jump a route. In zone coverage, looking at Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is telegraphing this throw. Mosley's breaking on it right away. Again, before the wide receiver even sees it coming. That's interception number two. He can be very aggressive on those in-breaking routes from zone coverage when he's staring at the quarterback. Mosley also can be quite aggressive in the red zone when he doesn't have to worry about defending deep passes. Here he is in his first start. Brown's coming at him right in the red zone. He's splitting two receivers here, but he reads it quickly enough and makes a beautiful pass breakup. And if you don't believe me, check it out from the end zone. I mean, this is a this is him saving six points. High degree of difficulty on that pass breakup. Another beautiful pass breakup in the red zone. This one's a similar play, but it was late in the game against the Seahawks week 17, basically to save the season. Dre Greenlaw is the hero for making that amazing tackle at the one inch line, but this was a few plays before it. Remember, Mosley didn't start this game. He gets beat off the snap, off the line of scrimmage. It's just him and Metcalf, if, if Mosley doesn't make this pass break up, the Niners probably don't get the number one seed. Look at it from the end zone. And it's not like a one-off. I just showed you Mosley making a similar sprawling, diving pass break up. But this one was had so much more on the line. Just a beautiful play. First quarter, 454 left. Mosley again up here. Man-to-man -man coverage against a three-wide receiver bunch set. They're going to run him across the field. Simple crossing route. This time it's Farrell Cooper. They're doing it because it worked two weeks ago. And he just doesn't have his eyes on the quarterback. Tries to find the quarterback. Loses the wide receiver. 
23 yard catch. Mostly so concerned about getting beat deep, he, he tends to give up lots of separation on the comeback, like right here. Watch it one more time. Rarely gets beat deep, but this comeback's open all day. It's a big game. Here he is in the Super Bowl. Same issue, second and 10, going up against Tyreek Hill, fastest player in the league. Clearly concerned about Hill's speed. Look at how much cushion he's given him, like 10 yards. Uh, Hill takes like three strides forward, Mosley bails. Hill breaks down, Mosley doesn't. That's about seven yards of separation on a seven-yard stop route. Um, then kind of gets on his heels and lets Hill run through his face. Uh, again, that's that's more, that smacks of an unex inexperienced cornerback in a big game who's in awe a little bit of the receivers going up against. Similar issue. This time it's second and six. Going to be a little too conservative in the middle of the field. Uh, just compare Richard Sherman to Emmanuel Mosley. Mosley backs way off. Sherman's in place to defend that out route. Mosley isn't. Mosley just gives up the first down. Too conservative. This was early on in the season for him, uh, and he improved as it went on. Same, same thing. Same thing. This time it's second and four. Uh, the two inside receivers are going to run streaks. The two outside receivers are going to run out routes. And Sherman and Mosley are going to have the same routes to cover. Watch how they cover them differently. Sherman pretty much stops at the sticks or a yard or two behind and, and is in position to drive on a throw. Mosley just backs up. He's a cool nine yards past the sticks and is never in position to uh, break up that pass. Um, this was two minutes left in a very close game, week 17, uh, too conservative. I mentioned earlier how Emmanuel Mosley likes to jump routes. Well, the Chiefs noticed that when they were scouting the 49ers defense, and they used that against him twice in the Super Bowl. This was earlier in the game, play action. And remember, Mosley likes to jump those in-breaking routes. So he locks on to the receiver going across the field, tries to pass him off to Jimmy Ward, but abandons his deep third, never sees Sammy Watkins coming into the area. Uh, yeah, Jaquaski Tart should have carried him deep, but that's also Emmanuel Mosley's spot. He needed to be there, and the Chiefs would go to that, uh, would exploit him in the same way later on in the game. Season on the line, third and 15. Late in the fourth quarter, who do the Chiefs want to go after? Emmanuel Mosley. And they go after him in the same way that they got him earlier in the game by running a guy into his deep third, cover three zone coverage, having him go in and see if Mosley will follow and abandon his responsibility. It's not man coverage, zone. He's looking at this guy, not seeing Tyreek Hill coming back here, and, uh, that was the biggest play in the Super Bowl. Now, um, doesn't mean he's a bad player. He's just overly aggressive at the wrong moments and overly conservative in the wrong moments. That's all inexperience. He's improving. He plays hard. He likes to tackle. And he made some big, big plays in high-pressure moments. Young guy, former undrafted rookie. Arrows up for Emmanuel Mosley.